Hey, Orange One here. So, uh, we are unofficially at war with Vlandia. We're not a part of this faction anymore. Um, it's probably judging by things, seeing how I can't make my own um, party uh, with my companions. It's gonna make it kind of hard to do this war. Um, I am hoping to siege down some castles. They're at war with the Kuzate, so I'm hoping to um, essentially wait for the Kuzate to uh, kick, Sergeants, kick them around a little bit, and then I'm gonna um, have my elite troops attack them. So I'm gonna show you basically me doing more guerrilla warfare against the, um, the Vlandians. But this time we're not being supported by anyone, so... I'm like literally, it's me and and my uh, my companions' parties, and I don't even know where those dudes are at. It would be amazing if they like took a, a castle or something, but I don't think they will. <laughs> I don't think they really will will siege, especially given the numbers that they'll probably have. Wow, these guys are just getting pelted. Jeez. That's so many arrows. It's insane. There we go. Okay, well, that should be it. Okay, cool. Just some easy looters. Yeah, I... I was looking at that... Uh... McCle uh... I've, I've forgotten the name of the castle, but there was a castle right by where we were at. Just around here. Um... Yeah, this gun... This one right here. Mechalovia. Which I would love to take, but 160 with 140, we would have to siege them down for a long time. And I think the Vlandians, yeah, they've got some lords just kind of running around still that we need to take them out first. So I've got to take out like Peric and parties like that until um, I'm reliably crushing them. Uh, yeah, that see, they, they still have a lot of castles that are doing okay. Did I see that one of my companions got taken prisoner? Um, yep. We're gonna we're gonna crush you. Yeah, I don't know exactly how long it's gonna take for me to form my own Follow faction. I think I just gotta basically get lucky and find like a castle that the Kuzate have taken and the Vlandians take back, and there's like only like fifty people or something defending it. If I can find something like that, which eventually I will. I mean, it, it's just kind of the nature of this game. Eventually I will, and then I can I can take that. Oh, come on. There. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, okay, so they are taking orders, so they are kind of approaching. It's just, it looks like they're taking their time, which, you know, is fair. And there are like, you know, 70 or so of them. Not very many of them are archers, which is nice, but we'll see. I'm excited. This is like, I feel like we started to uh, steamroll a little bit, and it would have been totally fun to have done like endgame taking castles for like the Asari. Um, is that one of mine or one of them? I can't, I can't tell. Uh, that was one of them. I was like totally just riding up next to that dude. If he kills my unit, I'm gonna feel pretty dumb. <laughs> oh, nice. That was that was pretty sweet. Take that and that. Any other unshielded? Nice. Yeah, archers. If I can take you out, that'd be nice. Ooh, you got shields. Oh. <laughs> so fun. Oh. Oh, they're shooting at me through their retreating soldiers. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. These arrows are so powerful. Like the piercing arrows. Oh, I love them. It's, you know, it's gonna be hard to go back. I, I was thinking like Maybe it's time I, I do a new character, but like I'm not gonna be used to like how crummy the gear is at the beginning of the game compared to what we got now, you know? Like we've been playing with tier 6 gear and like 
not great combat stats, but like decent enough combat stats so that if you have tier 6 weapons, I'm able to reliably get pretty easy kills, you know? I mean, to be fair, if you do something like that, it doesn't matter what your stats are. If you got horses momentum on, going on some infantry, it's gonna hurt. Right? But there we go. That's one of the lords down. So this gorilla, this uh, bandit king, maybe. I don't know what, what people would be thinking of Redan at this point, you know? Um, I kind of want to take you prisoner, but I know that you're just going to jump right back <laughs> as soon as you get out. Yeah, we're going to just take your tier 3 and tier 2s. And we'll use those to replenish our losses. Oh, also I have a perk that makes my archers gain a little bit of experience passively, just like as we wait, I think. Uh, which is awesome. I'm super excited about that, because I should be able to get a lot of archer units that are like pretty good then. Um, I've forgotten what the exact perk is. I think it's in the bow skill. Yeah, right here. Instructor. While waiting. So I have to actually be waiting at a place or something. Um, so I know that this has got like a hundred something-ish people. I'm curious if I go to these other castles, how many they have. And I think, yeah, we, oh look, a party of 100 there. How much do you have? I mean, I do have 140. Maybe... Uh... That dude I would like to take out first, if I can. Yeah. I'll take you out first, and the other dude will run away. And then if I can, I'll go after the 100 after I take out the 140. Or the, um, the 90. How am I doing compared to them? Yeah, I'll catch them. I'll definitely catch them. Yeah, I think we'll just basically hunt lords and look at, like, castles and see which ones seem feasible for us to actually take. That seems like essentially my my game plan for now yield or fight more can dude like the vlandians must hate Rodan so much like we must be so infamous like honestly Sergeants in charge. so i've been watching I, I don't know why well i know why i want to know more about like the ottomans and their society and i watched this documentary like all on like the harems oh my god it's I was like going into it obviously thinking like this is horrifying they're like sex slaves you know but it was crazy how the women like turned that around and then got like actually a fair amount of power like they literally were like sex slaves and then they're like nope you're gonna fall in love with us <laughs> and then do our bidding <laughs> to the sultans uh or like more like i'm now the mom of the sultan Oh man, it was so crazy. It was just like, oh, it was like so upsetting for me to watch. But then I realized like it's it was extra upsetting to me because they were like kidnapping like white women and doing this. And then I was like, wait, like this is like how black people must feel about white people, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like kidnapping and uh, like systematically like sexually assaulting women, you know. But God, it was so weird. Like. Basically, the Sultan also did like some sort of like essentially mind game uh, with them. Oh man, I got really hit hard there. Hopefully, I saved someone. Yeah, they basically had the women like celebrate and decorate each other up. So um, when the Sultan indicated they want to like sleep with them, so it was like you're like very popular, you know, and you get all these shiny little presents and all this like you know. It was just totally gross to me because it just felt like so manipulative and like basically you were like tricking like prisoners into wanting to have sex with you through weird like social like psychosexual I don't know man it, it was really it, it was really weird to me but it was also genius like as like a reproductive strategy for your leader like Trying to just get as many airs literally as you can. Seem seemed to work out pretty well for them. But, you know. It in the end. It didn't. 
It's weird like that though, because then, you know, you kind of have to like reflect on that. Like that's like kind of like inside all of us, like that, that potential to do something like that to another human being. Just kind of a crazy thing. I say as I'm like running down like dozens of Batanian volunteers. God, okay, this dude. There we go. Is that the last one? I think that's the last one. No, not the last one, apparently. Oh, there's a horseman? Really? You guys couldn't take care of the horseman while I killed, like, all the peasants? I mean, I'm 140 away. I don't think I'm gonna get there in time to kill him. What if I, like, shot an arrow right now and got him? <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah, it was like weird because I'm like, I want to roleplay as like the Ottomans. And then I saw that, I was like, oh my god, <laughs> this is horrifying. And I'm sure, you know, it's it's a lot more complicated than how I'm portraying it, how those uh, women felt in that situation. I mean, yeah, there is, as um, they say in Mad Max, they got the high life. What's what's wrong with that? You know? It's like the same thing with the the breeders in, in there. It's you know heavily influenced off um, the real world. I'm sure. Um, I can have up to 170 troops. Did I just get boosted the amount of troops I can have? Or was it? Or I thought it was like no. I'm pretty sure we got like boosted up. Like, did we go up in clan level or something? I'm just curious. Am I? At yeah, dudes. Look at that, we got tier level 5. Okay, so that means that I can actually have more troops and be able to maybe take a place easier. That's nice. Well, there was that 100 stack of people that was around here somewhere, so I gotta be careful. But we still could probably take them. And we'll probably be able to take them out pretty soon, actually. Yeah, I think we wanna, we wanna maybe hunt that dude down, try and find him and then try and go and put some pressure on an actual uh, actual castle or something. I don't know. Uh, Sturgia, Western Emperor, made peace. Good for them. I hope Vlandia doesn't make uh, peace because I really need to take some castle from them. I think they and uh, the Kuzate declared war pretty recently though. So let's let's just see. Uh, because I don't have a kingdom now, I can't go to the kingdoms tab and check it. Go to Vlandia, Batania. Okay, so they are no longer at war with the Kuzate. Um, that is a shame. I don't know if I if I want to continue raiding here. If I want to try and take another castle or something. People are gonna start getting hostile to me though if I keep on doing this. Uh, let's just have a look at the kingdoms though. If I look at the sorry, are you guys at war with anyone? Sturgia. You're at war with Sturgia. So I might be able to go raid Sturgia. I don't know. I mean if the Sari at war are at war with them, you know. No no one to meet me there. Okay, well. Let's go find if we can maybe make peace with these guys and then go to the Sturgians and take them out. Oh, look at that. You're you're chasing me? Really? Okay, well I don't want to engage you then. No, that's that was an accident. I mean, I would like to heal up a little bit. Um, maybe, yeah, I could kill like 20 looters like in a heartbeat, like just myself. Get myself a little experience and in, in some units. Oh, look, there's a stack of 60 there that's chasing me. Um, that could be problematic. Let's try and loop around to Epicrotea because they're kind of friendly. Um, or that's okay. That dude's turned around. Ah, <laughs> awesome. Bait on. At the very least, I can get my troops like leveled up, right? Oh, well, they just made peace, so that would have been bad if I tried to attack them. <laughs> yeah. I think we continue to just raid Vlandia until someone goes to war with Vlandia, and then um, we'll be able to take advantage of the, the weakened state. Yet, yeah, you're gonna get taken out. Former Empire. 
You know, I wish the lords Sergeant, would, um... I mean, it's kind of cool how they keep their, like, armor. But it's kind of weird seeing, like, uh... A Vlandian general decked out in full-on Imperial armor still, you know? Okay, let's see... <laughs> That's awesome, when you can get their velocity and your velocity to add up like that, like that guy did with my horse. Good god. 191 damage. He just did to my horse. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep my distance from you guys. You're a bunch of jerks. With mean throwy sticks. Oh, man. He's scaring me, that dude. <laughs> okay. Not so scary, after all. Oh. Got the horse. Got that horse. You're- oh, you're- are you one of theirs? Yeah, you are. You look like one of mine. Yeah, we- we've got a lot of Carifax, that's why. Oh, they got actually 15 archers back there. Uh, that's gonna be annoying to deal with. Oh, 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 my horse is down. Well, oh man, I almost went down there. Yeah, those archers. Guys, could we please take out the archers? On my orders. Follow your sergeants. Yeah, guys, if your sergeants could, you know, order a charge, that'd be great. Because I thought the sergeants were leading, but it looks like they just weren't charging. Wow. <laughs> well, that, that unit sucked. Whoa, that was close. Yeah, I just don't want to attack because you got archers behind you, bro. I, I see that. Oh. Guys, why are we not charging? Like, please explain this to me. Oh, that guy's dead. There we go. Well, I didn't die. I almost died. And we're gonna have to be careful. Because if I almost died, I don't know... Does that affect my travel speed if, like, the leaders hurt? I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, we also have a fair amount of prisoners that we need to deal with, I'm sure. I might want to have to get... I'm, I might have to get rid of some of the prisoners. Is what I'm trying to say. The English can be hard, man. Speaking can be hard too. I've got like also like anxiety and it's been kind of weird because I've been like since I've not had work, which is usually what triggers my anxiety, I've been having like things that don't trigger my anxiety, just like set it off that like normally aren't very stressful. You know, like just doing like chores and stuff. <laughs> it, yeah, it's just super weird. But you know, I've been doing better actually since we've not been having work. I've actually uh, felt a little bit better. Look, tracks. I, I guess I've got some tracking skill. That's nice. These guys wouldn't uh, by chance want to... Oh, you actually don't hate me. That's weird. He would actually let me recruit someone if he had one available. Um, that is a pretty nice stack of looters there. Like, free experience, right? And that's what that dude up there is doing. That stack of 90 is just eating a stack of looters. Um, Actually, hold on. We'll leave. I don't want you guys engaging while I'm I'm hurt so bad. Let's go to that city and we'll heal up there. Um. Oh look, Unquib. What what are you doing, leading an army? Are you guys at uh, war with someone right now? Southern Empire. No, you're just kind of rolling deep. Okay. Good for you, Kingy. And this place, actually, they like me here a fair amount. Let's, let's just hang out in this place a little bit. We'll get a few recruits. We'll get probably some prisoners to join up with us. You know, we'll, leave, we'll live the, the good life in the city for, like, maybe a day or so. Heal up. That is such a big stack. Man, they just dropped a ton of troops in the city. It's a good thing I grabbed those recruits while I could, because they probably cleared out all the recruits. I honestly, I just kind of want to check the recruit menu just to see. 
Yeah, all of them gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that, that's so insane. They just rolled through and just like cleared out all the recruits from the city. But you know, look at me, I'm already at half health and uh, my troops are pretty much at full capacity and our recruits are, are doing pretty good too. Our wife looks a little hurt though, still. Um, I kind of feel like we should just get out there, you know. My, my troops are in good fighting shape, so I'll heal up myself. I'll take it kind of easy. Yeah, these people, they won't let me recruit from them, will they? Nah, they hate me. Yeah, I would I would not be a big fan of me either. Okay, so they have 167. So it looks like they're actually getting more units gradually. I could try and siege them down, but I think... I think that we probably should hunt lords down just a little bit more around here. Slash, you know what? We're gonna be we're gonna be a baddie. We're gonna go back to the raiding days. Hello. Um Force notables to give you recruits. Yep, I want I want your recruits. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really don't need supplies, but what I do need is more people. You're gonna help me take your ca that castle up over there. Yeah, this is gonna be a little hairy. Yeah. Wait, I thought I was like only half healed. Why do I have so much health? I've got a lot of health. I just realized. Oh, I just hit that cavalry. There we go. There's one of the archers. There's another archer hit. Oh, oh nope. Can I please... Yeah. Get some of these guys. Nice. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Point blank. Okay, there is actually a fair amount of them aiming at me now. Okay. I think they're routed. I think we may have lost a significant amount of troops there, actually. I mean, not a ton, actually, but yeah, we did it. We did lose. It, it will all depend on how many of them are wounded, right? Um, where are the others? Are they done? No, it looks like there's forces running this way. Gotta get that experience. I don't know if we'll be able to spot them. Oh, they're like way over there. I don't think we'll catch them. We'll, we'll give it a chance. Well, I think if I don't get a shot at this ridge, though, they'll be in the clear. Oh. Yeah, that's not a good shot. There we go. No. That, I missed. Yeah, they're running away. Of course they're running away. Okay, so we only lost three units there. How many recruits do I get? That's the real question. I mean, look, just for that experience, honestly, that's worth it. Attacking that village just to get my troops a little bit more experience is totally worth it. As long as they'll still let me trade. I don't think villages ever get so upset with you that they won't trade goods for Denars, right? Maybe they do. I don't really know. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take those recruits. Thank you. I, it didn't really seem to affect our relation, though, all that much, did it? Yeah, they don't seem that mad at me for doing that. I suppose we're not taking their... Um, that much from them, to be honest. Heckard. Who's Heckard? Um, whoever you are, I think that we'll be able to catch you pretty soon. Orin. I need to keep an eye out for Heckard. Whoever that is. They just dropped off a good number of troops and got some, I think, recruits, maybe. Oh, hold on. What's this? Nope. Not, not doing that. You're chasing my party? You know what? I'll fight a, par a party of 97. 
I think we could handle that. That should be fine. Do I have anyone that wants to join me? I don't think I do. No, I don't. Maybe we'll wait just a, a second longer. Yeah, um, actually, you're running away from me now, or what? It's, you're, yeah, you're running from me. Okay. Then I'll chase you. <laughs> um, as long as Fade On doesn't come over. Yeah, I don't think that this is going to go well for you. Which means it should go well for me. Um, yeah, we're, we'll catch them. We're, we're going fast enough. Are you tr gonna try and interfere? Don't try and interfere, please. Yeah, you're not gonna interfere. You're running away. Good. Wait, did I just fail like a quest or something? What was that? I don't know why our relation just increased with someone. It all, all flashed in front of my eyes. Yeah, I need the log. I need the log. I need to know exactly who, what, when, why for all that stuff. Yeah, I think that I have kind of suppressed their armies. As far as I can tell, I haven't seen too many big armies around here pretty well. Um, but I don't know if we're quite ready to attack the castles, because even still, if they gather, like, groups of 40 and, like, three of them do that, they could, like, just attack me, you know? So, like, I can't just siege by myself. They need to go to war with someone else. And I think because I'm hurting them, they're not going to go to war with anyone else. So it's basically just a, a, a waiting game until, like, the Kuze or the Sturgeons or, like, the Sari attack Landia. Which I don't think is going to be very long. Because they are, like, the weak ones on the in the game right now, besides the Sturgeons. Okay, that's, uh... Oop. We'll go over here. Yeah, I'm sure you will. Tear me limb for limb. Oh man. Oh, double headshots. That wasn't a headshot, but that was still pretty good. There. Oh. Yeah, is that Lord? No, that's not Lord. Oh, come on. Okay, there's. A lot of us just kind of going around kind of slow here, guys. Are, are we going to get some kills or what? There we go. Oh. Uh, there we... Yeah, there's there's one of them right there. Hello. Aw. Okay, that, that actually was not half bad. Was that his leg? abdomen oh that was i was aiming for the other dude i wasn't even aiming for that one i love that i love when you hit someone you're not even aiming for them so we actually haven't even gone into the battle yet wow okay i thought i could have sworn that we were already at it yeah the sergeants are yeah they're leading good Looks like they're doing a good job, too. Um, actually, that's a lot, of, a lot of people that died just there. Hello. I heard you, uh... Killed a lot of my, uh, soldiers there. Hello. Hey, oh, 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 come on. Yeah, I'm getting better with the sword and the horseback. I've gotten a feel for, like, the distance the sword actually has on it. Though, there, though there's trees there, that doesn't really help. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I think it's safe to say that I've gotten a hang for the combat. Though I do want to do more javelins. Maybe my next character will do like a javelin like character. Oh man, in my Cataclysm uh, series, I have a, uh, a mutant character, a bear mutant. And I wanted to give him a javelin, but unfortunately the AI in that game, the NPCs, they, they can't use throwing weapons yet. 
something they're working on in the code. Um, okay, so what's the deal here? Where are they? Because I'm not seeing any troops being displayed. Are they all running away over, like, way down there and just got, like, super far away from us or something? Like, yeah, I think they must have, like, a huge amount of them that ran away. But it looks like our infantry is kind of, like, running over this way. Strange. Yeah, I don't see anyone getting killed, but that, that meter's going down, so I'm pretty... Yeah, they're getting away. There's four of them left. They're probably all just, like, right at the line. Man, I don't know. I feel like I kind of may have messed up this this series by going away from the Asari uh, Empire. But I want to form my own counter empire. It's, you know, a little bit of a power fantasy to have, like, your own empire, you know? Uh, you guys, where are they? This, I... I just don't understand. Is that a horse? Oh, that horse is one of them. <laughs> I have the, like, I, I got rid of my sword and now I've got this throwing javelin. <laughs> At least I hit him. <laughs> I, I literally don't have a melee weapon, dude. <laughs> Didn't need it. <laughs> oh man. I didn't see if that was the Lord, but if that was the Lord, that was ridiculous. Um, yeah. I, I think, honestly, that maybe I should be taking them prisoner and then just, like, keeping them in my party, but... They get out so fast, it's not really worth it. It does look though, like, though, we have about half an hour they've been doing this. Um... You know, give me your thoughts on on the strategies that I'm using here. I'll probably have a nice backlog done, so I'll probably have kind of figured out a little bit more about what I'm going to do um, to really take out a city. But I'm curious, like, in this situation, what do you think you I should do? You know, like, we definitely are... Um, got to be careful. Because there's a number of them gunned for us, and there's some pretty quick parties around here as well. Um, but we do have some friendly-ish cities fairly close by as well. I think I think we just kind of keep on doing what I'm doing, and see how long it takes for it to work out. In any case, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.